Hi everyone, I'm Richard from PageFly. Are you ready to enhance your PageFly layouts with incredible flexibility? In this video, I will guide you how to use Flex feature and use it in some simple cases. To begin, it is important to understand how to activate the Flex feature within the PageFly page editor. The Flex feature can be found in the Styling tab, specifically under the Display parameter. Once Flex is enabled, there are five options available for configuration. Flex Direction, Flex Wrap, Align Items, Align Content, and Justify Content. Next, we will delve into each setting and explore how they function. Here's the first part, Direction Setting. Flex Direction allows you to arrange all elements within a container either in horizontal rows or vertical columns. By default, the setting is Row, which means left to right in one row. Row Reverse is the same as Row, but in reverse order. Column is the same as Row, but top to bottom. Column Reverse is the same as Row Reverse, but bottom to top. Let's now discuss the Wrap Setting feature in PageFly. When you select Flex, the default setting is for all Flex items to try to fit onto a single line. However, you have the option to change this and allow the items to wrap as necessary. There are three different style settings for Wrap. Flex Wrap allows Flex elements to wrap onto multiple lines from top to bottom. It is important to note that elements will only wrap when there is not enough space to remain on the same line. Wrap Reverse, on the other hand, causes Flex elements to wrap onto multiple lines from bottom to top. Lastly, the No Wrap setting ensures that all Flex elements will remain on a single line. Next, we have the Line Item setting. This option plays a crucial role in determining how elements are positioned along the axis of the container. The direction of this axis is determined by the Flex Direction setting mentioned earlier. By default, the Align Item setting is set to Stretch, which causes elements to expand to fill the container while still adhering to any specified minimum and maximum width. Alternatively, the Center option will align all elements in the center of the cross axis. Flex Start will position elements at the beginning of the cross axis while Flex End will place them at the end of the cross axis. Baseline alignment ensures that elements are positioned so that their baselines are aligned. Now let's check out the Align Content setting. This option allows you to align the lines of a Flex container when there is extra space in terms of the container's height. Please note that this option only takes effect on multi-lines containers, where Flex Wrap is set to either Wrap or Wrap Reverse. There are six styling options Center means that elements are centered in the container. Flex Start means that elements are packed to the start of the container. Flex End is opposite at Flex Start. Elements are packed to the end of the container. Stretch means that lines stretch to take up the remaining space. Space Around lets elements evenly distributed with equal space around each line. Space Between allows elements evenly distributed the first line is at the start of the container while the last one is at the end. The final setting is Justify Content, which allows us to define the alignment along the horizontal axis of the container. This option helps distribute any extra free space left over between elements on a line. Center means that elements are centered along the line. Flex Start packs elements toward the start of the flex direction. Flex End means elements are packed toward the end of the flex direction. Stretch means that lines stretch to take up the remaining space. Space Around allows elements to be evenly distributed in the line with equal space around them. Space Between allows elements evenly distributed in the line. First element is on the start line, last element is on the end line. Let's me do a simple example with Flex for you to get the mechanism of this feature. Initially, I have a horizontal zigzag layout with images and text that is displayed correctly on all devices. However, when switching to mobile view, the layout becomes vertical, which may appear illogical. To address this issue, navigate to the breadcrumbs and select the row, then proceed to the styling tab. Scroll down and activate the flex option. Choose the wrap reverse setting to observe the changes. This adjustment will not disrupt the layout on other devices. This is the end of the video tutorial. 
Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel to get more new video tutorials and contact us via live chat 24-7 if you need any assistance. Thanks for watching.